<coughs> Welcome. Uh, what I want to do is show you how to solve for the value of x. So what we call this is a two-step problem. The reason why we call this a two-step problem is because we're going to use two different operations, actually inverse operations, to help us va find the value of x. So real quick, just to kind of, kind of start off here, uh, this problem says 3 times a number plus 1 equals 16. Now, for many of you, we might be able to think, oh, all right, what can I multiply by 3, add 1 to it, and I get to 16? And you can already think of the answer in your head. Uh, and that's great. However, well, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process that we're going to use. Um, so therefore, when we get to diff more difficult problems, you're not going to have to try to get everything in your head. So the first thing we want to do, remember, we want to isolate our variable. When we're trying to find the value of x, we need to find x equals the value of what? What is the value of x? So we need to get x by itself. Here you can see I have x being multiplied by 3 and x being added by 1. So again, like one-step equations, what we're going to do is we're going to use inverse operations, which means the opposite operation. Now, for one-step equation, it was pretty easy because there was only one operation going on, right? So if it was adding, you did the inverse, which is subtraction. If it was multiplying, you did the inverse, which is divide. Well, here I have two different operations. So I need to use both inverse operations. However, we have to follow an order. So the order we're going to call is called inverse order of operations, which means we're going to do the order of operations backwards. So that means the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to undo addition and subtraction. So you can see I have addition going on here. So to undo addition, I have to use subtraction. So I'm going to use the subtraction property of equality on both sides. That is going to, as we say, get us to 0, which will just leave us with a 3x equals 15. Now, to undo multiplication, I'm going to use the division property of equality. And then that is going to leave me 3 divided by 3 leaves me 1. 1 times x is now just going to leave me x equals 5. So now you could say the value of x is equal to 5. So therefore, that is our solution. And if you did that in your head, you might have got that same answer. Now, the next thing is we can always just go and check our answer just to make sure we're doing everything good. So what I'll do is I'll just plug in, or we're going to what we call evaluate, 3 times 5 plus 1 equals 16. And if that produces a, uh, a true statement, then we know that's the correct solution. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 equals 16. 16 equals 16. Therefore, we have a correct solution as our equation is right. So there you go. That's a two-step equation. Thanks.